time with Coding Cleverly. Today's video is going to deal with association, aggregation, and composition. These are some of the most fundamental concepts to know in object-oriented programming. Apart from that, these are also often asked during coding interviews in tech companies. One is about the pillars of OOP. That's a video that was covered a while back. You will be seeing a card on the top right corner of your screen. Now, inheritance is an is a relationship and now inheritance was also covered and you will see another card on the screen so we we covered inheritance and we know how to uh, apply it through base classes into derived classes and there are three methods to do it one was inherited publicly second inherited protectively and then third inherited privately so for instance if i have a dog is basically inherited from the parent class animal if i inherit uh, a dog, I couldn't inherit a cat, I couldn't inherit a fish from the base class animal. So that is inheritance. And today's video is going to be about associations. So object oriented programming mimics real world objects. When we consider real world objects, the most complicated thing that arises is relationships. How to deal with the relationships among different classes? Association has a, so it's more generally known as has a. So Association depicts the relationship between two classes. Both of the classes are not dependent on each other. So they can exist independently. If one is broken, it doesn't mean that the other one has to be broken. So they don't basically depend on each other. They could live out separately. Association can be categorized into aggregation and composition. So aggregation is a known as weak association and it's also an has a relationship. Aggregation, weak association has a relationship. Now these classes are loosely bounded and these classes can exist independently similar to what association was because it's a category of association. So I'm going to give a really easy example so that you could understand this concept more better. Now suppose we have a car and a driver and these are two classes. So a car and a driver have loose coupling in between them because a car can exist without a driver and a driver can exist without the car. Hence, they are not tightly coupled. So a car can have a driver, but it will still remain a car without the driver driving the car. Okay, so now here you can see a generic class and another generic class. This is our first example for aggregation. So we have this class driver and it has a pri private section and inside we are declaring what a car class which is already over here defined so it's a defined over here and we're using it in this private section so we're using it inside another class so this is what you call aggregation so what it does it establishes a relationship and the car and the driver are aggregated so they are not in a strong association but and they're loosely bounded now for our other example a basketball team consists of many players and a player can be part of many teams so a team can exist without one specific basketball player there can be a list of different players to select from and a basketball player can exist without being in a specific team so they are not tightly coupled but are loosely coupled this is how you depict aggregation so you also have two classes here one is team and this is representing the basketball team class and this player is representing the player, basketball player. So the team in the private section, you can see player class is called and it's creating an object player. So this is a part of aggregation and there are note that they are loosely bounded and they are not coupled properly. So they can exist independently like for instance the player could be in any part of team he doesn't necessarily have to be in that specific team and the team does not have to have that only player it could have other players except for that specific player so let's move over the next part of association which is composition and it's also known as strong association containment part whole or part of the relationship so when both of the classes are dependent on each other other like having independency, what was shown in aggregation, when you have the dependence on each other, such kind of relationship is called composition relationship. If one goes down, the other will go down. So if you delete one class, the other class, depending it, will also be deleted. So they are dependent on each other, not like aggregations, which are independent. 
Key word to remember, how to remember that composition means dependency is the word composition is from the word composed. So we could just think of it is composed in other class. So one class is part of another class dependent on each other. So example what we're going to give here is that a car has an engine. The engine is part of the car. They are showing tight coupling. An engine can't exist without a car. Every car depends on its engine. So here's a code example of what we're going to show. So here is an example of composition. We have a class car and we have a class engine. Inside of the class car, we have a private section and we created an object engine from the engine class. So we're using composition and you could see that they are tightly coupled, which means that the life of the engine is depending on the car. So when the car dies, the engine will also die because they are depending on each other. Code is similar to what aggregation was, but composition is logically different and there are differences to it. So that was it with this video and we will see you in the next one. Peace out.